Let's start shuffling. It's going to be a hustle, but I will do my best. <clears throat> so let's see what's coming your way. We do have the strength and the judgment of reconciliation might be with a Leo in your life. Um, can be a final decision, can be a final judgment on something. Strength, Queen of Wands. This is you with Leo energy again. Okay, so might be a strong Leo or maybe you have Leo in your chart, but that is a lot of fire and a lot of passion. The strength is about courage, you know, strength and courage is about lust. And we do have the Hermit Virgo energy in reverse. If they've been silent, um, this is the energy of wanting to talk to you again, right? I'm just saying, strength and six of swords in reverse. Somebody walks, um, somebody comes back to you. Six of swords in reverse is about staying there or coming back. Strength and the two of pentacles in reverse. They stop juggling. It's the energy of taking a chance, taking a risk and dropping the ball so that they are less uh, busy. Two of swords, thinking about you, contemplating, analyzing. Not making a decision though, but still in the thinking process. And the Seven of Cups in reverse, they have more clarity. If you are dealing with a Leo, they have more clarity about what they want. So let's see bottom of the deck for the overall energy for this time. And we have the world in reverse, unfinished business. Queen of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Five of Swords, and the Justice, Libra energy. Might be a Libra you are dealing with. It shows up twice here. Honestly, honestly, this so far, if you are going Aries through a situation where things were not clear, a chapter was not closed, that was not a proper closing of some sort, that was not a proper communication of some sort, you have no idea what's going on. We have two energies, both of them by excellence, speaking about clarity, speaking about um, clear communication, speaking about ideas doing what's right karma you might be in a karmic connection with this person because it's a love reading so you might be dealing with a karmic connection here but this person comes clear they want to come clear to you you want to come clear to them it's an energy of let me speak my mind you know and probably that's exactly what you're waiting for because we have this situation we have you in things not clear and unfinished businesses because of it so let's um, see Aries, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome for me on your side, the person you are dealing with. Oh, I love this. Um, we do have the, the Leo energy again. It's the sun, happiness and clarity. It's all about the truth, awakening, awareness, illumination, aha moment, whatever you, you want, but for the love of God. <laughs> the, I, I adore the, the overall energy for you, um, Aries, because it's about truth and truth and truth no matter what. And it, uh, I wouldn't be scared because actually... We, it's paired with a justice that is a sense of fairness in the truth and balance and it's meant to bring balance right and it's meant to bring to bring fairness to a situation that might have been a little bit hidden um so aries on your side in the past we do have the empress so this is the energy of you giving them everything and being you know the provider the caretaker the lover the mom the dad you know and and being there 100 percent invested and then the situation got out of hand we have with the empress the energy of family and um well royalty in some way but in a sense that family was the most precious thing or the commitment the connection that you had with this person but then it went uprooted with the four of wands in reverse something you know didn't function properly and probably we found ourselves going through divorce. That's how we get. And the Queen of Swords. We know she's the divorcee in the whole deck. And the Justice too. Maybe we had to go through the justice system. You know, how get the papers, the separation, the divorce, the courts and the whole. Uh, and with the Five of Swords might have been also quite uh, quite the fight. As I like to call it a fight and a half. <laughs> and it was like strong. Um, but... Um, 
I, it was something, right? Because you gave everything. And it was uh, your main focus actually was on, on this family. And then at some point it was taken away. Now the person Aries comes from a place of independence. We have them in the nine of pentacles in the past and the uh, death in reverse. Unfinished business transformations, unfinished transformations, unfinished um, uh, no closure kind of endings uh, because they come from a place of independence. Um, Aries, I, I don't know about their um, ability to uh, function in a family unit, you know, because nine of pentacles is quite an energy about me, me, me. It's somebody maybe who works very hard. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of focusing on money. It's the self-employed card. It's somebody who dedicate, dedicates a lot of time to their financial stability and can come from a place of insecurity, can come from the place of death like this. They are not awakened. They are not transformed. That is no, um, you know, spiritual energy around them, but very practical kind of energy, you know. Spirituality is not important. And I say that because transformation is in reverse. It's like never going through such an important transformation because they were uh, focused on the everyday pentacle, I would say, their own success, whatever felt they needed, right? And of course, we had explosions because of lack of judgment and a poor decision and decision making. We do have the tower, right? That was a mess, a mess, a mess. And they've exploded their world and your world too. And whatever you've built together. Because the tower, it took years to build, right? That's energy. And then it went boom on the top. And it's paired with the judgment in reverse, right? Somebody made a mess. I do not think it was intentional. And I know probably I'm feeling a sense of hurt and a sense of let's hope justice will be served and will finally have this ability to um, to move on still I don't, I don't feel this is because of poor judgment uh, i don't feel this was intentional it was poor judgment and it was lack of awakening with this uh, with the uh, death in reverse scorpio energy too <clears throat> with that one for some of you this is uh it's interesting because um you know, you might be dealing with somebody who focused so much on their business and money and they might have been taken away by the pandemic, by an economic crisis, but whatever. Somebody might have lost money here um, based on a poor judgment of placement and economics. And I know we said a love reading, but it's that is really something strong about. Um, it's like never mourning a period of loss. It's like somebody focused so much on their money and they might have placed it once and then boom, it went. Whatever their life savings and stuff went boom, you know, because of the this um, death in reverse, right? So they never made it through it. it. They stood in this and maybe that's what destroyed for some of you this connection. There is a strong actually message there for somebody. It's um, strong in a sense of clear. And um, maybe this is what ruined in some way whatever you've built because we have the energy of house and home. With the Empress, we have energies of family and children and abundance and creating something, right, for the future. And then, and then it went boom. I love this. Well, what are we right now, Aries? We do have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. We know this commitment and partnership went all over. We kind of fell out of this or somebody else fell out of this and now both of us are out of it. But we are putting down burdens, right? We've we've been taken responsibility. Ten of Wands is the energy. What if I worked harder? What if I took more responsibility? What if, well, they were so busy with their business, I was maybe not providing the care they wanted or the love or, you know. And um, we are actually seeing things clearly. I mean, clarity is uh, screaming at the overall energy. And because of it, we gain perspective and we put the burdens down. So good. I'm happy to see that there is, you know, this is the energy of taking care of yourself with the Ten of Wands in reverse when we wake up and we feel all burdened and we don't feel like doing stuff and it's like, no, but it's me, me, me. Well, uh, take it, you know, that, that's the energy I'm picking up here. You are in a good spot. You are in a good place. Now, this person of yours, we do have them in the Page of Cups 
in reverse, unapologetic, emotionally drained. Um, they are not present for an emotional um, uh, connection at this point. And we have them with the two of pentacles in reverse. This is the energy of dropping the ball. This is the energy of losing control. This is the energy of I'm not making a choice. I cannot. I, you know, they, it's kind of difficult emotionally and also everyday life and practicality. This is the energy of not keeping a brave face. This is the energy of not taking extra responsibility right now. They are like, you know, at a standstill. And Page of Cups again, emotionally, it, um, it requires work for them, you know, to get back on, on emotional horse, as I call it. But you get my point. Um, so Aries, where are we right now? We do have the Knight of Cups as mutual energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So we have somebody in love and we have somebody kind of four of pentacles in reverse, willing to be loved, right? <laughs> In the, in the sense that the Four of Pentacles is I'm going to protect myself, this is all about me, I'm going to be guarded, I'm not going to share my heart. Well, in reverse, it's like, okay, maybe I'll open up a little bit more. And the Knight of, Pen Nine, Knight of Cups is all about I miss you, I want you, I want to make love to your card. And of course, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> but we are sensing love here. That is still love, if you're wondering, and it's your mutual energies and a, and a sense of risk. But this person right now, again, like I was saying, emotionally drained, not quite there yet, but they have it in their heart, you know. Um, Aries, where are we moving forward? Well, being extremely cold about it, and I love this Aries because I do believe you'll take control, baby, over this. We have the Queen of Swords, King of Swords and the five of pentacles we are cutting off rejection we are cutting off um you know whatever keeps us away from what we love and what we want we become clear about whatever is going on and we become just like a king of swords well if i have to cut a couple of cords i'm going to do it right and if i have to bring justice to a situation i'm going to do it and if i have to fight for justice i'm gonna do it also for some of you, it's a strong energy of Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and you have Queen of uh, Swords, King of Swords. We have it paired with the Five of Pentacles, so, you know, things might be a little bit rocky in May. Rejection might be still, or distance, not, not rejection, but the sense of distance and not having each other, not having the sense of, of warmth and family. But um, we are doing what's right, both of you doing what's right and correct, right? Now this person, they want to talk to you. Imagine that we have in the Four of Swords, they will break their silence. That's uh, the energy coming um, both your ways and you show up here, Queen of Wands. That is passionate about you. This is, I, f I find you sexy, I find you beautiful, you know, that kind of energy. Sorry guys, I'm back at you. So we do have the, you know, the energy of breaking the silence. If there has been like a breakup of some sort and distance and somebody giving you kind of the cold shoulder, now they are warming up a little bit. And mutual energies coming out of stress. I believe problems will be solved. It does look like a lot of problems will, would be, will be solved, in, uh, solved in May. With the Justice, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, it's like, you know, we are up and running and the mind functions brilliantly. We have Nine of Swords in reverse, both of you coming out of stress, and the Page of Cups in reverse. This is the energy of being unapologetic, both of you. So I don't know if it comes from a place of I'm going to make you pay. That is just a tiny, tiny, tiny message of I'm going to make you pay in this, but I hope it's just something I'm, I'm i'm feeling just like this but we do have you know i'm not gonna stop till i don't put the burdens down and i don't bring justice to this that, that is an element there so i don't know whose energy I'm, I'm picking up here um but while this person is willing to talk to you and break the silence i'm sensing more on your on your side you know keeping the sword and it's like come baby you know i i'm gonna show you what i came up with you know <laughs> kind of energy but i hope i'm you know sometimes i may be wrong but when you see the energies 
And I see that I might be very well wrong because we do have the Knight of Cups right in the middle of the reading. This connection still has love. We might be unapologetic. We might be willing to let things go and put the burdens down and make the other person pay. But at the core of it, right? At the core of the whole reading, that is love. And that is a, a desire to take second chances here with the Four of Pentacles. But again, it's going to be your... Um, your decision, right? And your better judgment. Um, so let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need. What what energies we need to get going, um, Aries. And then, and then we say goodbye. So let's have this one. Let's see how we need to approach this. So we have responsibility. Just like the Ten of Wands, it's right now on your hands, right? So it says you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So speaking of, I'm going to make you pay. <laughs> I don't know if the universe is funny today and really wants to make sure that nobody is revengeful in this one. But I would say if your decision is, you know, uh, yeah, you brought the boom. So I'm going to end the boom um, with swords and stuff. Somebody is really guided to be responsible in the way in the way we express our thoughts and the amount of love we put in a situation that we want to end why not you know it um again like i like to say it from a place of love and understanding so we do have patience aries somebody has to be responsible and patient you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm Okay, we need to be patient about and responsible about and come from, um, oh, look at this. You have forgiveness. We need to forgive the Marys. And I, I'm, I'm sure they exploded pretty well, your world in pieces, but we have to get the energy flow moving again when we do it through forgiveness. Um, so you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Well, it's liberating. Forgive and forget it's quite liberating. So you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. And we have unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. This is the law of attraction. You send love out into the world, it comes back to you. It's as simple as that. So um, Aries, let's have some guardian angels and then we say goodbye for now ace of wands new beginnings i love this so it says this cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity or career or pursuing your dreams this is a card of action and if you've been procrastinating it's time to really get busy it's also a great time to start a new business have confidence in your abilities we let go and we start new. And we let go with kindness, forgiveness, patience, responsibility and unity. And look at the Empress. Are you kidding me? Love and abundance is coming your way. And it's interesting you have the sun again. You have creativity and abundance and you have the sun again. And you have it as the overall energy. So creativity and abundance, it says, dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's a time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest, you, manifest for you. I love this. And positive recognition. And it says congratulations. So it's finally over. May is the month where we see the sun shining. So your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and in terms of zodiac, um, signs you honestly have all of them yeah 
Okay, so Aries, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.